Doing entrepreneurial things. I was a seed, they tried to bury me, I rose from the trip. Yo, who was showing me that my friends was really folks? Man, we did pick up that Torah, then I start taking notes. Hello, yeah, I once was weary, but I came back home. Good morning, everybody. I'm gonna go. The God Lord is that? Mm mm, go away. Mm mm, whatever that is, this is not coming in my daggone car so about to go get an item for lunch just to add it for my uh trying to finish up this meal prep stuff so that's what we're doing now here with the black barista we love that for us I don't live in a very melanated area, so when I see my people, there you go. Thank you. You come right up. All right. So when I see my people, I get real giddy. <laughs> but I'll tell you the itinerary in a second because I completely mixed up my stuff. I'm doing one day, something one day, something another. There you go. Have a Thank good day. you. You too. Thank you. just so jumbled yet giddy because of this weekend away Friday we are going to a hibachi place hopefully the wait isn't too long I'm not sure if I'll do a reservation because I am a reservation queen after check-in and so forth and then going to go see a movie and then on Saturday sure if it's gonna be a Saturday or Sunday thing but I'm gonna go to a museum have some food and then go to Top Golf for the first time and then Sunday just probably still be in the area just to have some fun you know cuz <laughs> wants to go home automatically after you check out I am NOT a fan of that unless like the weekend or the trip was more stressful but other than that we're going to just enjoy the area you know so yeah let me get back to work enjoy this lunch and the rest of my day also I gotta clean today gotta finish laundry because we enjoy a clean home overall every day but definitely when we get back from a trip. So that's what we're gonna do. If you are into that, you know how all the people say the things, the like, the subscribe, but I usually don't say that because to me, it's just a video diary for myself and I just wanna utilize this platform to like help others. <laughs> so if y'all mess with me, y'all, you, you already know how this platform works. So I don't think I need to remind y'all. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's what we're going to do. So I will see y'all in a little bit. Because I may take y'all along with me to pack. So yeah. I will see y'all when that time comes. Come on. Hey y'all. I'm sure y'all could tell from the hangers. The grease on my face that I got off of work. And just went straight into packing because I just wanted to get it done. So, I think I'm okay with the selections because it's, the weather has been really stupid. And I know how to feel about it. And I just want to be in comfort but cute. So, that's the vibe because... I already know that I'm going to have to probably change at least twice, maybe. 
between the two out of the three days that I'm gone. So, cause your girl, just in general, but definitely when lodging elsewhere and so forth, I take multiple showers a day and I do multiple things and I stay outside. This is gonna be one of them times. So you're just gonna have to see the suitcase again, just real slight, real quick, real cute. Yes, my bedding and my pillows are still at the bottom, but it's a different look, different situation because it's with warmer clothing. So all I have to do is pack my toiletries and my undergarments and all the lady things, and then I am good to go. So I wanted to stop the process real quick and just show you because I said I was going to bring y'all along with me. I'm sorry. I don't be doing the unpacking with, well, do I? No, I don't even do the unpacking with me. <laughs> And packing with me, I, I just am not accustomed to that just yet. I'm not sure if that's the content that I want to do, but figured I just pop in real quick, do a little situation, and go from there. So, plus I still have to do finish up laundry. I'm probably sure you hear it. I'm not sure, and clean the apartment. So after I show you my suitcase, I'm gonna wrap it up, and then the fun festivities will commence and all the shenanigans that follow up okay so let's do this okay so as y'all can see because i don't have any overhead lighting that i'm using my ring light so here let me zoom out really quick sorry if the quality changes my bad all of these are my sweater dresses here is my hats and my bedding because if you didn't know I'm allergic to most things that hotels cabins things wash with their stuff so I don't want to have an allergic reaction so I just have my own bedding my pillows and my pajamas I'm gonna put my toiletries and undergarments right there and I also have a flat pocket over there but the shadow you can't really see it so let me just see if the lighting corrects itself there we go so all the looks will be um, commencing. All the fun, as I said, will be commencing. And that's my big luggage. I still have to also pack purses. Thank y'all for reminding me. Appreciate it. Okay, see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> so, what is it giving y'all? Keep on telling y'all the things I'm saying. All of that. You know what I'm saying? I just wish that my hair would cooperate in the humidity. But I'm hungry, about to go get some food and hopefully, fingers crossed, see the last movie of the night. So I need to break these heels in too, so. <laughs> I'm not on the bottom floor, Ash. Don't stomp because you're not inconsiderate like other people. And if you're an upstairs neighbor, just know that your floor is someone else's ceiling. Okay? Checking that thing we just checked, double check. To keep you connected, no matter what. Connect before the storm. Change how we weather them. Sometimes I'm so smart and I don't even
until I turn the camera on. I was being tackled with us, y'all. They playing me out here. By the way, if you live in a colder climate and you want to go to Top Golf, right? Because you keep the you keep the fur hat, okay? Hold on. I'm playing, right? They got these heat lamps up right there, actually. Heat lamps. They make it feel like it's 89 degrees out here, and it's in the at least the 40s. Ciao. I got the sweat stash and everything. I don't think I like that. And I don't know if it's because I've been. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. But let the shenanigans continue, as I say.
doing entrepreneurial things. Thank you, girl, for the order. Appreciate you. Like I said, we get things out on time. And we, we at that point. Too cold. I'm meal prepping so that's why and then I just put on some Spanish rice it's probably gonna take a couple hours this is already done but I'm gonna keep that on low and then cook this for a couple of hours so I need to go grocery shopping but this <laughs> meal is just going to hold me over if you will for a little bit so Yep, it's time to get some certain stuff off my chest. Again, me just talking to y'all helps me heal. Me writing about stuff helps me heal. So this is just going to be, you know, the ending part of the video to wrap this weekly vlog up because I have had this thought all week and I finally feel like I need to talk about it, let it out and so forth. So couple months back I shut down my candle site for a little bit and now that it's January there were several reasons why I shut that particular site down and the main one is when it comes to the certain season that most people do celebrate I don't celebrate them okay so I did not want to risk someone buying my product and giving it as a gift for example during that time frame i do i did not want my products being the purpose of that so i say 10 toes down in my faith system and that's just is what it is okay people can either get with it or get left because i know i have a massive community that you know does the same thing practice the same way and so forth so just is what it is. I know I'm supported and you know, if people are of subscribers of mine and they understand and I'm not, you know, not gonna say whatever personal situations, I'm not pointing fingers. I have grace with people when it comes to that. So, you know, just agree to disagree with, you know, certain practices, whatever, whatever. Okay. So that was one. Two, with me just trying to come to terms with it's you know just not as i guess needed right now so it's just like there's no point in me worrying about it and keeping it up for you know that time frame so now that it's january it's back up so i hope you guys are supporting you know just with my buy so trade business my candle brand and my books i hope that you guys you know take the plunge and really invest in me as i'm investing in you too because it's for me this platform is something that i'm really have a loving community on and i want to be able to be sure that whatever message i put out it is for the betterment of people it's never to hinder it's never i want to pe make people laugh i want to have deep conversations i'm not just a surface level person i've never been that so 
I want to be able to have deeper situations on this corner of YouTube because as you probably have seen, you know, it's again, it's a lot of surface level type of stuff and I'm just not here for that, you know, so I needed to let me understanding that I am a deep person and I have depth and I have substance and, you know, the planet nowadays just aren't into that they aren't into certain truths they are not into you know things that make you think or things that motivate you and so forth they just want their ears tickled they just want certain things just to be plain and stupid i'm just speaking in blatant terms and i don't care because i need to talk it out so there's that i just <laughs> and i felt like i needed to say that because that is my current feeling right now and just me being able to process things. That's how I get through it. I want to let go of feeling like, because with my efforts of, you know, the entrepreneur track, I already know there's a lot of no's. I already know it's the long game. I, I, I know all of this stuff. However, with being in this space, I felt more recently, especially towards the end of the year, because I was scouting out certain things, researching certain things, trying to put myself out there and so forth. And the fact that people are, they say, that you know they support each other and so forth but i was shown that that's not the case and i don't know if that's just my experience or if somebody else please comment below if you have a similar story but it was just like me going up and beyond for certain people that i thought were you know going to enjoy certain things from me and so forth and like the minimal support that I got if anything it's just like it, it was hurtful so I really went through a kind of a hard time with that because it was just like if someone is saying in their constant message and something that really irks my nerves on here in real life if you are about something and you stay ten toes down in it but then you're fake you have a message and it's consistent you keep saying it but then when it comes push to shove you don't <laughs> you're not there for the call and that made me very you know uh boundary driven when it came to selecting how i wanted to share certain things of mine just with my businesses it was like, why would you say something and then turn around and not do it? I'm, cause I'm a person that don't do that. If I can't do something, I'm not gonna do it. Or if I need to reschedule something, I am gonna do it because if I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna be lazy about it. I'm not gonna just, you know, make an excuse for it. No. Like, if there's a certain time, date, obligation, whatever, I do it. And especially if it's for the betterment of my sister, like, and it, not even not by blood. Like, you my peoples, like, you my sister, you my brother, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't get it. But I, under, I also understand that, matter of fact, scripture's popping up in my head right there you can read it for a second I know I'm those things listed in that scripture so I have to always constantly remind myself and heal myself and recover by knowing that God made a certain person and a certain group of people that are like this and they are on the bottom of the totem pole and we fight every day to fight the good fight we don't meet people at their level so 
that just makes our jobs even harder and the people that are having certain things right now because the world is with them right now i can tell you that's not the case for me okay i'm just saying for those that already have and they feel like this is it let that be it if this is it for them so be it because that's what you basically just showed me that you don't have any type of wear and thaw beyond this and i do not roll with that so it was a it was a battle that i was going through with that and the thought this week was just like okay ash you need to let that go because this is 2024 now <laughs> like and this is the year especially for me I'm hitting you know certain milestones and I'm not in the headspace the mental space to carry on the sediments of the world now when I say that you know just want to say scripturally, you know, actually, let me pull it up. There you go. As you're reading that, it says to strive, to build houses, to have businesses, do these things. So the wants that I have to have my own property and just to buy a house and to have my stuff um, be out there for people to enjoy it's because God gave me the skills and the wants and the desires to have those certain things so I cannot not do his bidding you know what I mean and it is I believe that he has done this for myself but he has also used me as a vessel to help somebody else and that has always been my thing if I and this is just a mentality I guess geographically where I'm at that we have this mentality that if we help one person that's all that we can ever ask for and if we impact somebody it doesn't have to always be in a grandiose type of scale but if we can do that for people then that says so much more about your character than it is just to say that you were successful because in most things, it's kind of like a full circle type of moment because of how you treat people and how you get the love back or lack thereof, you know, that just shows that you're in the lack of something or if you need to switch some things up personally for yourself. And I was just having that reoccurring thought it's just like you know you are here to impact people you are here to use your writing skills you are here to articulate certain stories you are here to spread the gospel now you are here to just be a light in someone's space and I felt this week so bogged down and so discouraged but I needed to climb out of that because it's just like, okay, if people don't understand that I am trying to make a living by trying to create multiple streams of income because I don't have financial help, you know, like I'm not around groups of people that are helpful. That's why I work so hard to try and be helpful for other people because I don't have that sense of a physical community to do that. I'm in an area where it's really doggy dog. It's not supportive. It's, you know, gatekeeping. It's, you know, it's just not a flourishing area. And, you know, I contemplate often, like, should I move to a different area or is it going to be like that elsewhere? And Honestly, I'm sick of living in an environment like that because it's like, where is that truly people do come together and help each other with their desires and their wants and their goals and so forth? 
I don't have that. That's just a realistic thing for me. And I'm sick of not talking about it. And I have to let it go. You know? There's a lot of things hindering me from not being able to do so right now. But hopefully, you know, as this is the year of milestone for me, that I am able to just be more free. Like, for example, traveling more. So that way I feel I can combat, in a way, the feeling of not having that support around here like I can scout it somewhere else I may not live there but I want to scout it somewhere else and then maybe return to where I'm at I just know <laughs> I know that I need to find my tribe somewhere and I'm still growing my tribe here and you know I don't literally mean like a tribe tribe you know it's just a general term that people use but yeah the community that's on here I should say it's, I just want people to understand that if they are feeling any type of way similar to me, you don't get through it because it's me actively getting through it myself. So I'm not going to be quiet for the sake of me saying that I got through something and it's on the other side. No, like this is real life-ish. I feel this way. I, you know. There are times where I don't feel supported, you know, in a community based individually. Yes, I'm, I'm support. I got my peoples in this and that. I'm talking about other people that are in the same sector as I am. The writer sector, the author sector, the buy sell trade sector, and the candle sector. I am a part of all of those, but it, it's just not around here. <laughs> not even remotely, I don't believe. So it's hard to want to go to networking things because again, it's it's the gatekeeping. It's the, you know, not, not letting people be in their elements. You know, it's just not welcoming for that. So I wanted to end with this chit chat because I want you guys to know and keep me accountable with this journey as well. I want you guys to understand that during this year during this i i want to say a year but it could last longer than that i don't know but i already know that i am in a place that is just like if you are not supportive with me and if you you know don't help in the realms that i have created it's just like what are you here for I'm getting to that point. What are you here for? I know some people have, you know, certain cup of teas. I get that. People enjoy my content. People enjoy my products. People enjoy both. Whatever. It's just the fact that I know that there are certain people, as I mentioned before, that are getting the short end of the stick and again this is biblically stating and worldly stating it's it's a true fact some people are just getting crapped on and it's time for that pendulum to switch okay and i feel like since i have got the short end of the stick my pendulum is going to switch for the better i pray very very soon Again, it's not my timing. It is always God's timing. I just have to keep the faith. I have to be patient. I have to be a good steward with what I got now. I have to be able to be sure that whatever comes in abundance for me eventually, I have to be able to collect that information and do God's will with it. So I hope that that made sense. Because I want to use my current feelings and always piggyback it off of biblically stated things. Because it is a living word. It's a true thing. And whoever follows me for that type of stuff, I hope that you continue to enjoy that type of stuff. Because I do try to like sprinkle it and I just don't want to punch people in the face with it. <laughs> because I don't like people punching me in the face with it. So, 
you know I just like to sprinkle a little dash a little salt because we are the salt of the earth mm -hmm. we season this thing we are the culture we are the leaders of fashion. We are the fastest. We are the prettiest. We are the... I don't even want to... I, do I need to say more? I don't think so. So, I welcome you into 2024. And we are going to make this year an impactful one. Because last year for me, it was a word that kept coming to me was unbreakable. And now this year, I feel like it's impactful. And if there are any other words that come to my mind, you know, that are downloaded from God, I'll be sure to share that with you guys. Because last year was a very unbreakable year because hell broke through for the fourth going on fifth year in a row okay straight this year no it, it's impactful for me and my people and that includes you so let's get this get let's get this together hold on tight come with me and we ain't gonna be all right okay so until the next one Take care.